हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो टुडे वी आर एट द एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड एंड द चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड इज द नेम ऑफ दैट चैप्टर इज द स्टेरियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ डाई सब्सटेटेड साइक्लोहेक्न सो वी हैव सीन ऑल द general information about that stereochemistry and specifically in this chapter we have consider only most stable shear conformation that is the uh, cyclohexane di substituted cyclohexane and we got there are the four type and that four type we have learned with respect to the following points number 1 that is a uh, Uh, 1 1 di substituted cyclohexane 1 2 di substituted cyclohexane 1 3 di substituted cyclohexane and 1 4 di substituted cyclohexane these are the four structural isomer we are obtain for this uh, for this di substituted cyclohexane and in case of the optical activity one mark question may appear in the exam so how will you remember that optical isomer so far we have seen uh, four types are there one one type remember one one type is optically inactive in nature because both the substituent present on the same carbon atom therefore there is a plane of symmetry and therefore one one type is optically inactive in nature right one one type is optically inactive in nature only which isomer are optically active that you should remember only two which are those two one two one two trans one two trans uh uh one two a uh, trans one two what you have to remember here i am giving you the trick to remember the optical activity of that come trans trans one two di methyl di methyl cyclo hexane this is optically active and second one will be trans 13 dimethyl dimethyl cyclohexane right these two are optically active optically optically active and rest of the compound are optically inactive in nature optically inactive why they are optically inactive as we know that there are the plane of symmetry some of the compound are racemic mixture some of the compound are meso compound and that's why they are the optically inactive only remember these two trans 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane and trans 1 3 dimethyl cyclohexane only two are optically active and rest of are the optically inactive in nature because in case of the this one cis 1 2 1 2 optically inactive cis 1 3 optically inactive and uh, cis and trans both are 1 4 type are optically 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 inactive optically inactive because this one cis 1 3 is a racemic mixture right racemic mixture and cis 1 2 and a uh, cis as well as trans 1 4 all are the meso compound and that's why they are the optically inactive inactive in nature remember no remember this one right only these two remember 1 2 trans trans 1 2 and trans 1 3 dimethyl cyclohexane only optically active and rest of the compound are optically inactive and why they are that you have to read this book uh, watch the video carefully as well as read the book 
uh, I am referring as a Manali publication book, so you have to refer that book. So I have taken all the according to us, according to as a syllabus, step by step. I'm not uh, so that you can uh, refer those books now. The last point remaining in this chapter, what is that? Are the order of stability of the conformer is right the order of the order order of stability 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 of the conformer stability of the conformers conformers is right now let us see last one what type we are talking about i am talking about the uh, fourth type one four type and in one four type there are eight structures are there out of that eight structure we are generally getting as a three three structure in every cases now here also let me draw first these three structures and then we will calculate or we can determine the uh, that now first one first that is we are talking about trans 1 4 right so here methyl group which is at equatorial position another methyl group which is also as a equatorial position what do you see here both are at equatorial position but whether it is a cis or a trans how do you know very good you have to put a hand and see this methyl group is below the plate here also even though i am putting the hand on the blackboard if you draw the structure on a, uh, in your notebook you can put there you apply the same thing and see where the substituents are there and if below the plane and one is above the plane here clearly it is below the plane one which is above the plane and therefore it is a trans trans which position that is with the relative observe this structure carefully that is a one four right what form it is that is a e form right e form understood this one it's so very simple once you know the basic idea now let us look at as another one one methyl group which i am putting at the axial position another methyl group at four position i am putting at equatorial position what uh, type of the conformers it is look at here methyl group which is above the plane and this methyl group is above the plane what type what type of the geometry it has it shows c geometry right because both the substituent coming on its um, on the general plane on the same side and therefore it is termed as a cis that is one four and what form one present at axial position another present at equatorial position and therefore this is a cis one four a or you can call it as a cis one four ea form one and the another is the same you can put here axial one equatorial same thing is there so both are coming on the same side now look at the last one La in the last um, structure observe carefully here i am putting one of the methyl group at axial position another methyl group also i am putting at axial position by observing this structure carefully what do, uh, now you tell me what is the geometry of this molecule the geometry of this molecule is a trans look at here again methyl group which is above the plane this methyl group which is below the plane and therefore it is very easy to recognize which is a trans both are present at axial position right that is let me uh, give the relative position before writing that a form that is a 1 4 and that is a a a form right any doubt up till now no now look at i am again showing as a model here 
so this model one methyl group which is above the plane one below the plane we can cut the molecules the molecule is optically inactive by looking as a model we can understood this chapter very very uh, clearly and now look at here now what is the next one because we are comparing the order of stability of these conformers now both the substituent present at what uh, while calculating or while determining the internal energy what you have to find you have to find out the number of 13 diaxial interaction and second one find out the butane gauge interaction and now if you look at this both because both the substituent are present at equatorial position no question about the uh, one three diaxial interaction and now uh, again for butane gauge interaction they are very away from each other if they are present at adjacent position uh, we, uh, relative position one and two then and then only as a butane gauge interaction is present otherwise at one three position and one four position there will be a no butane gauge interaction remember this word only one and two this substituent present at one and two position then and then only the butane gauge interaction present otherwise in a one three c sort of trans or one four uh, c sort of trans there will be a uh, there is a no possibility of uh, butane gauge interaction they should be at one and two position and therefore if then and then only they shows the butane gauge interaction here just for one three and one four you just find out the uh, one three diaxial interactions are there methyl uh, ch3h interaction look at here in the sec uh, so how much energy both are present at equatorial position no question about the internal energy only zero kilo calorie per mole this much amount of energy associated with this conformer right and now look at here in a cis 14 ae form look at here one methyl group which is at a axial position if axial positions are there then and then there will be a one three diaxial uh, interaction must be there and therefore at one two three one hydrogen atom here one two three one hydrogen atom here and therefore there are how many one three diaxial interactions are there one methyl group they always generating or they always produce two one three diaxial interaction and therefore you can calculate here uh, calculate here 2 into 0.9 is equal to 1.8 kilo calorie kilo calorie per mole this much amount of the energy associated or consists with this molecule this is a cis 14 uh, dimethyl cyclohexane now look at the last one last one is a trans 14 a a now look at both the methyl group both are present at axial position one two three at three position there is a hydrogen atom if you go this side one two three here also has a hydrogen atom present and therefore you can show the dotted line that clearly indicate that there is a one three diaxial interaction similarly here one two three at this there is a one hydrogen atom which is present at axial position if you go this side one two three one of the hydrogen atom at one three position i am showing those producing as a one three diaxial interaction other hydrogen atom i am not showing only uh, to clear uh, what does uh, that uh, one three diaxial means look at here in this case two above the plane and two below the plane two are diaxial interaction and below also as a uh, one three diaxial interaction therefore total becomes as a four so four multiple by 0.9 
फोर मल्टीपल बाय पॉइंट नाइन इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स किलो कैलरी पर मोल दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ द एनर्जी असोसिएटेड विथ दिस कंफार्मर एंड देयर फोर दिस इज देयर दैट इज एंड नाउ अमॉन्ग दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू यवर ओपिनियन विच वन इज अ मोस्ट स्टेबल वन absolutely correct this one is a more stable one than this one means uh, equatorial equatorial conformation is always more stable than the uh, uh, axial uh, conformers that you have to remember i think with this we have completed all the points we have covered all the points of this chapter so remaining one what is the remaining one so let me talk something about that uh, trick what the how to remember this how to study this chapter i already told you the optical activity how to find out that optical activity in short so that trick all i already told you that but now the let me tell some of the important question based on this chapter so uh first one suppose one more one one more questions are there the let us see the nature of that question what type of the question may appear in your exam or may be in a internal so remember suppose as a one one dimethyl cyclohexane is optically inactive why so you know that one one di if both the substituent present on the same carbon atom there is a plane of symmetry and therefore that conformer is optically inactive in nature so in this way you have to answer precisely you will get the full mark now second one suppose uh, suppose as a cis 12 dimethyl cyclohexane is optically inactive why so here also you have to draw the structure of that cis 12 dimethyl cyclohexane cis as we know that cis means like this this is 12 dimethyl here methyl group is here another methyl group is here right another methyl group is here both are present on the same side and therefore cis and if you uh, uh, then that molecule becomes as a racemic and racemic mixture are optically inactive in nature meso compound are optically inactive in this way you have to go on answering and now uh, third <coughs> the uh, question number uh, in a question number in a annual exam pattern or semester third end exam uh, examination question paper if you see at question uh, in question number 3 there is always five five mark question three questions are there one question definitely from this chapter chapter number 2 question number 3 five mark so how uh, what will be the nature of that question draw the uh, draw the trans 14 dimethyl cyclohexane conformers and comment on their optical activity and the relative stability for drawing the correct structure you will get as a 3 mark because five mark questions are there for correct structure three mark and if you discuss if you tell the optical activity correctly if you mention it you will get one mark and the relative stability i already told you how to calculate the uh, uh, relative stabilities means you have to find out the 1 3 diaxial interaction in 1 2 only as a butane watch interaction is there point 9 is always there so but in a rest of 1 3 and 1 4 there will be a no uh, uh, butane watch interaction remember that one and in that way you have to calculate i think with this we have completed the chapter number second also uh the next lecture we will start the chapter number 3 the name of that chapter i think uh, the uh, you might be familiar with that sn1 and the sn2 reaction that is i think nucleophilic substitution at saturated carbon atom so i think with this let us
stop today here remaining we will see the next time have a nice day thank you